Hello and welcome to Sportive Cyclist. This is the first in my series of videos shining a bit of a spotlight on smaller cycling companies. Why am I doing this? Well, you can check out my last video to find that out, but in short, right now, people are gonna be bored, spending a lot of time on the internet, buying stuff. My suggestion is that we spend a little bit of money with the smaller cycling companies and our local bike shops, as someone pointed out in the comments to my last video, in order to support them through the current difficult economic times. So, in this first video, I'm going to look at a company where I've already got some of their products, and that is Pongo Socks. I'm just riding up and down the road in front of my house. So who are Pongo Socks? They are a small company based down in London, but their socks are manufactured in a factory in Italy. So given the current situation and the fact that their facility is shut down in Italy, probably makes them a company that's worth supporting right now. So how did I find them? I just Googled cycling socks and I think Pongo probably came pretty high up the list, which makes me think perhaps they don't need the exposure. I needed some socks needed. Needed as a strong word. I've not really been one for wearing colour coordinated cycling outfits. I tend to just jam together whatever shorts, top I've got to hand. But last year I was going on holiday to the south of France. For my birthday, my sister and her husband had bought me a rather natty Bianchi kit with the standard Bianchi Celeste colour all over it. I think it's because I'd hired a Bianchi bike for the trip. I just thought that being a bit of a top. I would try and buy some socks that would match the whole outfit. So I ended up buying a couple of pairs, one in the color Celeste to match the Bianchi kit and the Bianchi bike, and one in turquoise. Now as it happened, there was a bit of a snafu when it came to the Bianchi kit, so I never ended up wearing it on the holiday. And so as a result, never actually got round to opening the packet of socks. So I still have them here. The turquoise ones I did open and I've been wearing them ever since. Aki. All of which means I could do a bit of an unboxing. Uh, unbagging. So what do you get in the packet? Well, it's a pair of socks really. I can't remember how it's sent. One assumes that it was sent in a pretty robust envelope, which is not in the slightest bit interesting. There we go, Pongo. London. The model that I've purchased is the Pro Classic in a size S, M, more medium. The material for this type of sock is 97% poly polyamide and 3% elastane. I'm not sure I know what either of those two are. So yeah, a nice pair of socks. I've run out of things to say in this unboxing. I'm bagging. They're nice socks. They're nice socks. Now we've seen the packet of Pongo socks that are still to be opened. Or well, maybe I've just opened them, depending on where we are in the video. This is the other pair that I've owned. So I've been wearing them over the course of the last eight months, including winter. There have certainly been rides which have been in the wet and with all the muck and road dirt that sort of flies up. I don't have overshoes. As you can hopefully see, these socks are unmarked. He says that. Oh no, that's a bit of fluff. They certainly aren't showing any sort of signs of wear and the colour which I picked to match the accent colour, as I believe they call it, on my stolen goat cycling shorts is still as bright as it was when I took the socks out of their packet. One nice feature about this material is you can see it's a nice bright colour but when you stretch it, you sort of get that separation. I'm not describing this very well, but it looks quite cool on Lycra as well, where you see the white behind it. My general point is that the texture of these socks uh, I really like. You've got this sort of more flexible piece here, and you also have a similarly slightly more flexible hell. It's a sock. It's made of material, which tends to be flexible anyway, but a slightly softer material over the, I don't know what part of the foot is, I'm not a podiatrist, maybe the more flexible bit, the knuckles, if you like, at the end of your foot as you approach the toesies. And talking about the toesies, you can see absolutely no real signs of wear and tear. This is a very long-winded way of saying I'm pretty impressed with the build quality of these socks. Now, there may be people who are pretty proud of their feet, but I'm not one of them. As you can see, my nice flat feet here fit comfortably within our size SM, which one assumes does not mean say they're The flexi material over the top and across the, I don't know, are these the metatarsals? And just to be clear, 
I'm not a proponent of wearing socks over tights for the purpose of this video. I'm prepared to make sacrifices. Team slippers on. Clean socks, dirty shoes. Go box. Hopefully you don't need these. Wow. To be honest, I'm not sure I can wear these socks over my leg warmers with a straight face, so I'm going to have to put them underneath. Or maybe one over, one under. thing about brightly coloured socks is, certainly for people like me, that do tend to wear somewhat understated black clothing. When they're cycling they do introduce a little flash of colour. The Pongo ones that I'm wearing today do provide that little flash of interest. I denote you as being slightly less boring. Quite boring though. So these are the standard Pro Classic sock. If you look on the website, there are absolutely loads of different colors and designs that you can choose from. These Pro Classic socks cost 15 pounds, though some do appear to be on sale at the moment for 10 pounds. These are suitable for wearing in all weather conditions, depending on how sensitive you are to the temperature of your feet. If you are after winter socks, then Pongo do a range of those in what appear to be two thicknesses. You've got your standard winter sock made out of merino wool, ethically sourced in Italy. And if you're after something a bit thicker and therefore presumably a bit warmer, they do a merino mix with silk and cashmere. For the winter sock, the merino, that is £17.50 a pair. For that warmer, X merino thicker sock, we're talking £22.50 a pair. Now Pongo do do what they call an aero sock, but I note that their website doesn't make any claims around the drag coefficients or whatnot. If you're looking to pick up a pair of those on the website right now, those are £28.99. So not a cheap option, but for those that are really but for those that are really looking to be as hashtag aero as possible, you know, money's no option, is it really? Money's no option. Is that an expression? So how do they perform? I'm no particular sock expert and to be honest, for the most part, I'm as happy to wear a standard pair of M&S socks when I'm out on a ride. But I do have to admit, they do feel extremely comfy. They fit well around the foot. And if this is important to you, they do feel somewhat luxurious. I'm quite pleased with the colors that I picked. They stand out, certainly in the case of the pair that I've actually been wearing. The color has held up very well and they're as bright today as the day that I first put them on they're obviously not going to revolutionize your cycling i don't think any pair of socks is going to do that for you but if you are in the market for a pair of nice socks then uh, well i'd recommend them really so i hope you found this video useful or at least it's brought your attention to another potential supplier of socks if you're in the market for some premium foot coverings my aim is to do more of these videos that highlight all the excellent small businesses that make our cycling life so vibrant. So if you do have any suggestions about companies and products that you'd like me to take a look at, I'm gonna spend some of my own cash to do so. Please do let me know in the comments below. If you own a pair of Pongo socks, let me know what you think about them in the comments below as well. I've been Monty, this is Sportive Cyclist, the Mammal Channel, and I'll see you in the next video. Safe cycling.